What's up guys, Pedro here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary jar of pickles and totally change their flavor overnight with just a few ingredients. Coming up right after this. Okay guys, so here's what you do. Take your favorite jar of pickles and you dump out half the juice. Of course, I like to drink the juice, so I save it in a glass. Okay, so I poured out about half the juice. I like to use kosher dill pickles. Uh, you can use regular dill as well. Um, also, later I'm gonna show you how to do sweet pickles that are a little bit different, and olives um, in just a few minutes. You add about, a, according to your taste, you add about a teaspoon of garlic. Now you can buy it in the jar already minced, or you can use a garlic press, or you can chop it up with a knife. This garlic press is the bomb diggity, as my wife would say. Okay, you usually put about two cloves of garlic if you're using fresh garlic. Uh, I like to use fresh garlic. It, to me, it just gives it a lot more flavor. And you just press it in there with this press. I bought this off of Amazon and I'll put a link to it uh, down below. Next you want to put in about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Uh, it depends on the size of jar of pickles that you have of course. Uh, this size jar, I don't usually measure it. I usually just put about that much depending on the size jar of pickles that you have. Uh, that's that's about a teaspoon right there. Before I put the vinegar and water in, I like to take a marker and just estimate about the halfway mark of what's left. And you pour it out half the juice, you put a line on about, you put a line about halfway from here to the top. And you fill that with vinegar up to that mark. Bam. I like to use apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar if you want. Um, I just like the flavor of the apple cider vinegar. Then you top it off with water. Fill it up to the top. Put the lid back on. Nice and tight. Shake it up real good. Now as long as you got the lid on tight, you can put that baby in the fridge upside down. That way you make sure all the pickles on top get good and uh, seasoned real well uh, before you open them. These pickles will be good to eat tomorrow. Now keep in mind, the longer you let them sit, the hotter they're going to get. I'll put these in the fridge. Okay, on the sweet pickles, I do it a little bit different. I dump out most of the juice, about three quarters of the juice. Now, I'm going to dump this in the sink. I dump out most of the juice and then everything else is the same. You fill it about halfway up with vinegar. Of course, I need to mark it. Make it a little bit more accurate. Mark me a mark. Fill that up with vinegar. Now, before I add the, uh, the water, I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, garlic in, a couple cloves of garlic. This garlic press is awesome. Now these are small cloves for this little jar. Man, that garlic smells so good. <laughs> Okay, 
a little bit of red pepper flakes. Maybe a lit, no, nah, I'll put about the same in there. The guys at work like it pretty spicy, so I'm probably going to add a little bit more pepper to that jar I put in the fridge. Whoops, let me add the water to it. Put the lid on this baby and shake her up. I'll put that in the fridge in a minute. Now the olives are different. And let me tell you, I have a friend that doesn't like olives, but he loves these spicy olives. On the olives, you dump all the juice out because olives are so strong in flavor. I dump all the juice out. And again, make your mark. You don't have to make a mark, but I just find it's easier for me when I'm pouring just to have a mark. I usually eat some of these too before I do this, but y'all don't want to see me eating olives. So anyways, there's my vinegar. I'm going to put a couple big cloves. I'll probably put three of these in there. That's one of the good things about this garlic press too, is that you can put it in there, skin and all. Squeeze that baby. Comes out minced. And then just pull the pull the skin out. I'll put one more in there. Just for giggles. I love garlic. I have to clean this sink out before my wife gets home. She always reminds me we don't have a garbage disposal. We have a septic tank, so we don't have a garbage disposal. Oh, and some red pepper flakes. I'm going to put a whole cap full on these. It's a pretty good size. Maybe a little bit more for Santa Claus. No. A little bit more for Pedro. Yeah, baby, this one I'm talking about. All right, add the water the rest of the way. Put the lid on nice and tight. And wow, these are packed in there. All right, shake them up upside down. I made these. Actually, I made these last week. <laughs> They're nice and ripe. There you have it. Um, just four ingredients. Totally changes the flavor of the pickles and the olives. I'm telling you, if you like spicy stuff, you're going to love these things. Something else I've tried. Uh, I didn't do on these, but something else I've tried that is really good. Take a couple of uh, fresh jalapenos from the grocery store. Actually, I used mine out of the garden. Just chop up a couple of jalapenos and throw them in there too uh, before you add that water and vinegar. Oh, man, it tastes good. It gives it a little more kick, but it also gives it a good flavor. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Until next time, God bless, and we'll see you later.